Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the disastrous life of Psyche K episode number 15 and 16 reaction. All right, the previous two episodes, we were kind of in a cliffhanger. Psyche in his sleep completely aborted the whole uh, hotel. And uh, after getting waking up, he was able to bring everyone back. And there was a little bit of a problem with um, uh, with Kokomi, but you know like he was able to manage you know like Kokomi thought it was a dream so he was able to manage that as well and bring her back and uh, by the next day everyone was like oh it's a dream <laughs> and uh, yeah nothing much happened there and uh, that was that and then uh, there was like the portion where they go to the beach and here uh, something happens uh, Yumehara actually gets a kind of uh, depressed because no one's looking at her everyone's looking at Kokomi and then there was a few people who were trying to uh, like you know kind of pick her up and uh, Kaido comes and uh, kind of saves her in a way and uh, that that made Yumehara like Kaido which was originally what Teruhashi mistook so the mistake actually came true <laughs> and uh, yeah that was like uh, something that happened and um, yeah that was that and the uh, next episode we get to oh and in the end there was that section where uh psyche uh was like oh i want to have like a coffee um like a shaved ice coffee thing which was very like you know famous in okinawa something like that so there's like five of it which is all only given out so he goes to that cafe and sees that all her his friends is over, over, over there like five of them have been sold out at first he was like what the hell but then in the end everyone is like come sit down we're going to give something some from mine and they give little by little to like everyone five of them give to his uh plate and uh, in the end he ends up with the biggest portion which kind of shows how like you know he usually doesn't interact with people but interacting with friends and everything is really good by the end of it you know like it's it's a nice thing um yeah that was the episode the next one we get a new character kubayasu i think that was his name he's a delinquent and he wants to like you know change <laughs> and like funny stuff happened he always kind of is like thinks like oh someone's trying to mess with him but by the end of it he ends up getting like a respect for hiro and he realizes that hiro thinks that nendo is his rival and nendo calls uh, psyche as his bro so he's like wait a minute everyone's circling towards psyche so something must be up with him like that's why it, like you know the whole introduction was and uh, yeah and then a few other sections we had there was that one section with the cafe was almost going to like, you know go down because there was another cafe in front of them and at first the, the owner thought to change into a maid cafe but by the end of it he thought like no let's keep it the way because i have a few of my loyal customers and uh, yeah like all that stuff so let's see what this episode brings this is episode number 15 so yeah let us begin i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go Okay, we still don't know what, who that guy is. The blonde haired? No, was that blonde? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat>
all right whose idea will it be school festival okay school festival all right okay what pk festival <laughs> Okay. Display. <laughs> this guy. Oh boy. Is that a poop? What? Yeah. What is that? Oh my god. Rock farm. Okay, that might be good. Hmm, that might be interesting. That's a new one. Oh! Well, I... <laughs> Yo! Okay, you know what? I also kind of think maybe the rocks would be interesting, but I don't know. Oh, please stop. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah, where, where, is, where, where is the... Where is the excitement you all had? Uh, no, it was not. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what? Meat cafe? Yeah, I knew it. This is one of those guys. <laughs> um <laughs> Yo, okay. Yeah, everyone will be like, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, true. No. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's not writing anything. It's a fight, fight, uh, tournament or something. Okay, that's a good. One. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And the types of zombies as well. There's one type that can run fast, you know? <laughs> that, that rhymed. Whoa, what is that? Um, okay. What? Wait, he did that. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, that's... Oh my god, it... It ends up being that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I guess a meteorite is going to kind of boost in the... Oh my god, yo! <laughs> Dark matter. <laughs> Who the hell? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Takeru? Takayuki? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You don't have a singer or something? 
or no one can play. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, what about you? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, for that you called him? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yo! Sai. <laughs> Are you a pro? <laughs> uh, he wants them to play. Okay. He's like, oh, I'm doing this. Yo! Okay, everything's going well. Okay. Okay, that definitely is not the opening. You're singing a different song completely. <laughs> what is the song? Oh my god. Yo, he completely changed the opening of this show. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh my god. Oh well, okay. <laughs> so you just... <laughs> so he just did it to get out. Oh no, here we go. Yo, these guys. They are going to fail so bad in the actual... Yeah. Yeah, legends in a different way. Box? Okay. Ramen, I guess? He always asks for ramen. Evil ceiling rock. Yes. Oh, wow. What? Where did she. <laughs> Ah, that's the perfect one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Okay. <laughs> Brief respite. Okay. Oh, the is this like the Miss Pageant contest? Contest? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about Teruhashi? Yo, just like, oh, that's why she's not there. <laughs> that's bad. Yeah. 
<laughs> ah, there you go. Stop. Who the hell is this? Ah. Oh my god, it'll be a real haunted house now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah, yeah, he can just X ray vision. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the entrance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who the? Yo, <laughs> Oh my god, their parents are also here. Psyches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. A lot of minor characters keep showing. Oh, my, oh no. Oh my god, please stop. Oh, yeah. Like, he can order everyone, I think. No, wait. Oh, wait, no. I thought he. That's just ordering. Oh my god. And, and the glass is broken, it fell down. What is he, Medusa? What? <laughs> Turn back time, yeah? Wait, then what do we do? Oh. But if he falls down and breaks, then? Yeah, like... Shut up! Okay, this guy. Oh, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> when did it turn into four? It's usually three, but it turned into four. Oh my god! What? <laughs> no, he can. He can. <laughs> he can turn back time. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, what now? Oh! Oh! <laughs> exactly. Yeah? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is not good. I mean, maybe the dad dad made it or something. Is it a gorilla? <laughs> ah, there you go. No. Yeah, only one time. True, exactly. It's over. 
Oh, it's a sleeve. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Two person. Okay, stop. Why did he? Oh, this is all, all people from everyone came here. <laughs> oh my god, what happened? Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Yo. Ramen, isn't it? There you go. I knew it. <laughs> Oh boy. No, he's fine. <laughs> Wrap up party, okay. Hair salon. We went to some different place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because I don't want to go to the party. <laughs> oh, that clinic. Yeah. <laughs> Stand for. Hello. Oh, wait. <laughs> Todoroki. What? You can't even read it properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yep wow <laughs> next to us it's night time That, oh no. <laughs> okay. Wow, what is this? Clip? <laughs> what? That. <laughs> Where are they going? No, stop. They're going into some different... Okay. <laughs> uh... Oh my god. Okay, stop.
<laughs> what? Oh, he teleported in. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the party's over. Let's go home. <laughs> oh god wow <clears throat> okay, set it. All right, so we begin this episode with the uh, the school festival, and people are talk. Everyone, the students are talking about what they are going to do and <laughs> hyro has obviously hyro has this kind of a thing of like you know being you know like doing something good and is easily you know, excited about stuff so when everyone was like ah like you know like again like at the school festival you know what let's do something very simple uh this rock look at this weird shaped rock let's make a rock exhibition and hyro was like no this is <laughs> This is uh, one of the school festivals. Like you know, we should give our best. This and that he's telling, and I love how everyone was by the end of it. Everyone was like, you know what? Yeah, you know, let's let's do it. Let's let's <laughs> let's give our all. And Psyche was like, what the hell is this farce going on? <laughs> oh my god. Like I feel like Psyche is like a like a character who like you know um, if someone is actually put into like a like a, like a person is put into an anime scenario of cliches you know Psyche is probably will be that one character who is just like what the hell is happening you know like everything is just completely like you know the uh, going according to all the cliches and everything and Psyche is the only normal person there just we were sitting there and he's like. <laughs> what is this farce <laughs> oh my god i love how they kind of do this it's, it's so funny um a anyways um <clears throat> so <laughs> hyro is like let's make fifty thousand cranes <laughs> and all the people like students excitement just went down they're like um maybe something else you know not so many cranes and uh Everyone gives starts giving in, uh, pitching in ideas. Uh, obviously, uh, Takahashi was made cafe, you know. Um, Yumehara said like it will be a cross dressing made made cafe where um, guys will like you know actually cross dress and that you know. And Teruhashi said something like planetarium, I think, yeah. And uh, I love how everyone was so excited, uh, like, you know, like so uh, heated up when Hyro said like, yeah, let's do something good. And when Teruhashi was like, let's do a planetarium and Hyro was like, uh, maybe something else. Everyone was like, ah, oh, shut up. Like, you know, Teruhashi has spoken, you know, <laughs> that'll be final. <laughs> Which shows how like, you know, Hyro's, like Psyche said, Hyro's popularity is there, but Teruhashi is like the ultimate. <laughs> oh boy. And then Mera was like, we like, we should make like a barbecue, 
like everyone just giving out ideas um kubo also was like uh, let's do like a scary haunted house <laughs> and kaido was like a zombie apocalypse all like and everyone was just just giving in ideas and psyche was like oh my god this is going to be very complicated you know like either way it'll be a it will be a big mess and we'll have to do so many things so what psyche does is brings in a meteorite and since it was an actual meteorite hyro was also by the end of it hyro was like you know what okay let's do this let's put this in exhibition and just you know like alongside we we can't just put this in exhibition let's just take some uh bring some other rocks as well to accompany it that type of a thing and uh yeah like i guess uh, like the, the idea was kind of good by the end like it was an actual meter right so you know like the meteorite will be the main focus of everyone while the other rocks will be just there just you know just as uh to fill the space something like that um interesting that like, you know i've i've like you know so many animals i've seen i've never seen any anime actually do like a rock exhibition you could say <laughs> so this is the first time i'm seeing like the main class is actually doing a rock exhibition so yeah that was kind of interesting okay um that was that then um in then comes uh reita who is like oh like you know saiki come we like let's play in a band and he, he goes and meets the band members there's like a few of them and every kind wait just a sec it took me a while isn't this guy the same guy who you may have liked or the the the, the black haired guy you know with the mole uh I cannot remember his I think I think there's the same guy isn't it I think so oh boy I, I think so yeah anyways um so yeah these are the uh all of the members and every character like you know every, every, every student all of them they have like a problem like <laughs> um the, the the guitar guy he was the vocalist but he dislocates his jaw yeah it's the same guy yeah yeah it's the same guy oh boy yeah dislocating the jaw there you go it's, it's the same it's him oh my god it took me a while to remember because it's been a while i've seen him <laughs> oh lord anyways so yeah um, <clears throat> and then the the, the guy uh, the other guy cannot change they cannot tell the difference between a guitar and a bass the drummer cannot drum and all these like you know like <laughs> things and psyche uh, uh, reta <coughs> was like psyche you, you should help me out psyche was like why should i do it tries to go away and reta brings up the one thing that he should not have brought up he's like oh but i helped you what would have happened if i didn't do help you out in okinawa and psyche is like oh so you're actually trying to blackmail me isn't it <laughs> you, you, you like you know you, you're quite quirky aren't you <laughs> but then psyche was like yeah okay fine i'll, I'll help you out um, but he never said that he'll help them out completely he said that i'll help you out he did help them out but in a different way <laughs> he made it seem as if every one of them could play <clears throat> you know he comes in as sai which is like a secret identity for him and you know teaches everyone a good way to play their instruments and <laughs> i love how reta completely changed the opening lyrics of this show <laughs> like what <laughs> He completely changed the opening lyrics. Oh lord. Okay, and by the end, Psyche was like, "Yeah, my work is done. You know, I'm gonna go away." And he goes away, and everyone's like, "Oh, this is so good. We can play so well." And <clears throat> Psyche gave us like the information that they were actually not playing it, but he telepathically, not telepathically, sorry, but hypnotically, like did something where he made them think that they were playing good. And uh, yeah, once they play it again, they should understand. Now, even Psyche thought, I think so at least, even Psyche thought that they would at least after this play one more time and then they'll realize that, that they cannot play and they'll back out. <laughs> these, these guys, none of them played after that. They were like, oh, we're so good, we'll, we'll just do it in the main venue. 
and oh boy and and the narrator says that yeah like we don't even know like the guy in the guitar no, the, sorry not guitar sorry the bass he was actually even like i'm kind of telling them that oh we should at least play once like he was one of the i i, I could you could say one of the um responsible ones yeah because he at least wanted to practice once but everyone was like ah it's okay fine we'll we'll do it we'll just completely you like, know do such a great job in the main uh, like you know event like no problem and yeah none of them practiced so there you go and like i said the narrator said that you don't not narrator sorry psyche himself narrates the whole thing so he said like you don't even want to <clears throat> you don't even want to know what happened in the actual day <laughs> they're like we're, we're going to become legends they did become legends i guess <laughs> oh my god anyways um that was that the next part uh is everyone brought new rocks you know like all of them brought their own rocks like um kaido brought like a like a very weird shaping lock which which was like a ceiling device or whatever he said <laughs> and um kubo also brought like a rock which <laughs> He probably used to bat someone's head. <laughs> oh god. And yeah, all of that stuff. So <clears throat> Tenuhashi was like, okay, I need to do something, you know, I'll see you guys later. And I like uh, Nendo did kind of tell her to go with them uh, to the defense stalls, but she was like, I have a job, I'll have to do something. And she goes and everyone thought she will be in the uh, in the in the pageant. But she was not in there. Everyone was like, what's happening? Where is uh, Teruhashi? And they saw that Teruhashi is like one of the judges. She is like the special, I'm guessing, guest. The special judge. <clears throat> the... Well, what did she, he say? He, he's, he's a winner? Just a sec. What do you think Miss P.K. Teruhashi? So she, I'm guessing she's the um, previous year's winner and like usually they do, like you know, they bring in the previous year's winners as a judge or something like that, I guess that's what they did and with whoever uh, like, you know, will win this time, the, the, the winner of the previous year will give their crown to that person or something like that, I guess that was their plan, I think, but what happened is everyone, like all the audience, they were like, you know what? Let's go. <laughs> because <laughs> they did not want Teruhash to give up her crown, I guess. That was the whole thing in the end. Oh my god. Anyways, um, so yeah, everyone's just mm, moving around, going to different stalls. Like, it's either haunted house or cafes. And we suddenly meet a few people, a few students from other uh, schools who were like, Ah, this place is not that scary at all. Haha, ha, let's go to the different haunted house. And Kubas was like, you know what? Let me go with them, you know? Like, let's see how much scary this haunted house actually is. And <laughs> it really became uh, a scary experience for them after that. Um, all right, next, uh, the Nendo, Taiki, and Kaido goes in. And Kaido obviously is very scared. <laughs> While... Looking at Nendo, all the people who are trying to scare them are getting scared. And it, it was like a crazy situation. <laughs> I love how in the end, Nendo's mom comes in <laughs> and kind of faints. <laughs> oh. So, Saiki's mom and Nendo's mom, they became friends. And Saiki was like, please don't expand this friendship anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. And uh, yeah, so Kaido's mom was like, uh, not Kaido, sorry, Nendo's mom was like, okay, so I'm going to go back. I already saw your attract, the thing that your class did. Nendo's like, no, we, we did like a rock exhibition thing. And um, they were talking there. Psyche was like, I'm going to wash my face. He goes in, and as soon as he put his glasses down, I knew something was going to happen to the glass. I knew it. And yeah, Nendo comes in, grabs it, and Psyche, obviously, Psyche knows what's going to happen if you look at someone without using the glasses. It's going to become stone. I guess they kind of mentioned this before, I probably forgot. So, yeah, like, this is an interesting power, I guess you could say. Like, so, he cannot look at anyone without his glasses. Now, 
I always wondered maybe the green glasses like had some kind of special lens or something, but turns out any glass can do. So I wonder why does he wear a glass like that? Like it's like a green glass. Why does he wear a normal spectacle? Like I I, I have no clue why he. I, I guess that that's just fashion or something. Something like that. I I always thought it was some kind of a special lens. Like the, the glasses he usually wears, the green ones had like a special lens or something but yeah he get he grabs his dad's glass today and yeah it was okay anyways um oh my god this play this this section was kind of funny you know when his dad comes and psychic's like quick give me your glasses and takes the glasses and his dad was like uh why are you taking my glasses and psychic's like what's your problem you know like he, all that is going to happen is your eyes are going to turn three and he's like, no, it doesn't turn three, it turns four. This part was so funny because, you know, like the usual way how anime and cartoons kind of make people, like, you know, kind of make people understand that a person cannot see properly without their glasses is make their eyes into three, you know, like this type of a thing. Like, uh, and that's how they make people understand that, oh, that person cannot like, you know, needs their glasses to look properly. Without the glasses, they have bad eyesight. <laughs> That's why, you know, and it looks like a three. So he's like, no, my eyes, eyes doesn't turn three, but it turns into fours. <laughs> oh boy, that was kind of funny. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so, oh God. Now, <laughs> his dad touches Nendo. And it breaks down and his dad was like oh my god i'm going to i'm going to call my, like and i'm going to uh, give myself to the police but it was thankfully the fact that this was the first time the thing broke like could easily bring that back by just rewind rewinding back time and that's the only one time he can do it after that the uh, the stone statue needs to be actually kept properly now nendo's mom comes in and then those mom obviously mistakes the statue to be like a um, thing that they're doing, you know, uh, in the rock exhibition. <laughs> and uh, so they bring the statue to the class. Everyone's like, what the hell? This is Nendo's statue. The principal comes in. And the principal's like, oh, this is so amazing. Is this a gorilla? <laughs> Anyways yeah you guys won beautiful thing and they won and everyone was happy everyone was like wow like suddenly like a wild nendo statue appears and we won the match and everyone's kind of like you know really happy now then people starts kind of touching it and like you know that all that stuff and the part where the, someone was like oh the finger broke I, I was like oh my god what's going to happen now and then he's like oh it's not the finger it's the sleeve of the uh, dress and i'm like thank god it's not the finger if it was the finger then i don't know what 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 would have happened so yeah anyways um no you know what i feel like um ah uh, probably not like I, i was thinking like this is like a oh my god i'm going too deep into this uh this is like a thing i'm thinking like he, it's like he can rewind back day one one day so he rewinded back the time in the when they were in the uh, toilet after that a few m amount of times like you know went on like 10 to 20 minutes i'm guessing after that they bring the thing in and even if after that one of the fingers broke what all that psyche had to do is like since the duration like is, is like one day is oh no sorry i'm uh, never mind i uh, he, he did mention like one thing I, I i did forget one of his one thing that he mentioned he mentioned that it was only one time for one person so yeah okay it wouldn't work no i was thinking of something completely different ignore me <laughs> I was trying to find out like a loophole, but yeah, never mind. You can only use it one time for one person. That completely destroys all the loopholes that you can try to get. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, okay. So <clears throat> the next part is uh, uh, oh, uh, that kid. I forgot his name. What was his name? Yuta. Yeah, Yuta. He comes in and obviously he loves the 
like you know cider man and this like you know nendo looks like the baron and he's like just take this baron cola and like you know kind of getting on top of him all that <laughs> i love how before that his like his dad <laughs> almost had a panic attack and he was like don't touch him and got escorted out by the security <laughs> The psych is like, please don't bring my name up. I really don't want to be associated with you. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, um, and Psyche obviously is very, you know, kind of stressed out what she, they should do, and the whole thing was going to fell fall down and break. Psyche used his own, you know, body to save it, and seeing that, uh, you know, um, Kaido and uh, Hyro was also there. They were like, oh, like, you know, who do you think made it? Obviously, it's Psyche because he used himself to protect it. And everyone's like, damn, like, Psyche made, like, a Nendo statue and it's made so well? Like, what the hell is this type of, like, you know, like, this, this, this is, a, like, some deep friendship, isn't it? <laughs> and Psyche's like, oh, my God, I should have let it <laughs> break. <laughs> oh, God, and that's where it ends. And the next part, the after party, and uh, obviously Kaido is a person who just cannot properly navigate. He's very bad with like you know uh, maps and all. So he's asking them every time, uh, asking <laughs> Kaido every time, and Hyrule's every time giving them directions, and he's going towards the wrong direction. <laughs> like all the characters here were like just weren't able to do it anyway. Uh, uh, Kaido can't properly read a map. Nendo <laughs> cannot read anything. Even even though they went in front of the restaurant, <laughs> Nendo wasn't able to read it properly. <laughs> and obviously Psyche doesn't want to get won't go to the party. So he's like, oh let's just like you know, like even though I know what's happening, I'll not tell them. Let's just move around and the day will go and then we'll like, you know, be late to the party and everything will be fine. And so that was that was great. And there was a little Jojo reference here as well. Like <laughs> Kaido was like, is this a stand -up power? <laughs> From dark reunion to a stand -up power. Okay. Um <laughs> now all of that was happening and by the end of it, it went completely crazy. And I love how Hyro all the time when they were asking, like, oh you have not started the party, have you? And he's like, oh no, no, it's okay, it's okay. And everyone else is like ordering foods and everything. He's playing bingo, and <laughs> and then they, they go to like a like a yakuza place or something like some kind of a sh shady place they go to. <laughs> and obviously Nendo thought that that's the restaurant. He's like, ah, oh, what are you guys doing? You know, you guys uh, like this is how you act to customers. <laughs> and they were escorting them inside. And that part kind of like, you know, I, I was like, what the hell happened? How did they end up in the restaurant? And then I realized Psyche just teleported them. And they just went in and they just teleported to the restaurant. Obviously, Psyche had to do something at that point because it was going to a dangerous territories. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and they're there and everyone is like, uh, uh, Kaido's like, wow, finally we're here. Let's have food. Let's, you know, like play bingo. And Hyro's like, um, I'm sorry to say, but the party has ended. <laughs> oh my god. And they were very, ex like, you know, like, Kaido and Nendo were like, come on, 30 minutes at least, come on. By the end, Psyche was like, all right, fine, I'll you know, accompany you guys for at least 30 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it goes. All right, that was episode number 15. Yeah, let's begin with the next one, episode number 16. Alright, just a sec. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, episode number 16. Let us begin. I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here. Sync it whichever is a preference. And let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs>
Okay. The perfect pretty girl versus the super stubborn guy. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's him again. I cannot stop. Yeah? All right, this guy goes too far, I think. Yeah, I'm glad. And why are we here? Wow, this guy is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, go home. Oh my god. I that's true. Yeah, extremely. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah Oh boy. <laughs> that is not the face that Psyche made. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Coffee jelly? Coffee jelly? Yeah. Oh my god, it's closed. <laughs> uh, it'll also be closed, maybe? <laughs> oh, is, is that... Wow, okay. Wow. A <laughs> perfect pretty girl. <laughs> oh, they're good. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a part two here we go oh my god this is so crazy yeah <laughs> he's just eating his <laughs> Oh no, stop. Wow. What? Why? Oh my god. <laughs> Closed. Oh, nice. Oh my. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Hopefully. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight home. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they're just there. He must be conflicted. <laughs> He has to go along with her now. Nothing you can do. Yep. <laughs> she's so delusional. I don't think she's ever going to hate him. Like I said, she's so delusional. She's never going to think of that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> well, let's see how long it actually lasts. What? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> well, there it goes. Oh my god, in the photo booth. Oh, this is just teleport away. Oh no, it's invisible. Okay, there you go. Ah, uh, that's why he grabbed her hand. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. There you go. Psych is like Nani? <laughs> um, rock? I don't know. <laughs> 24th December. Wait, who are these? Who are these characters? Okay. Yo, what's up with Psyche's eyes? <laughs> Yo, these kids. There you go. He's the, he's the real one. Yeah, I'm wondering why is he doing this? <laughs> oh no that's why psyche is doing this oh he did it <laughs> see him on <laughs> maybe for coffee yellow Oh my god. Psyche <laughs> is like, like, okay, let me do it. <laughs> oh no. Shit. 
chimney yep ah my god the expectations <laughs> wow there's <laughs> no chimney Wow, okay. <laughs> this kid look watches a lot of anime, I think. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder what he can do at this point. Oh my god. Wait. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Let's go buy the latest electronics. Oh, it's New Year's. <laughs> More. Yeah, exactly. I'm guessing. Oh, no, I was going to say he probably wants to eat more coffee jelly. Oh, that's what he's been doing. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Read his mind. Read his mind. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Rookie. Oh, wow. Ah. Hard drive. Yeah. True. Mmm. Yeah. He does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop. Alarm clock, guys. Yo, that's a lot. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah he can easily wow <laughs> rounded <laughs> Yo, is that? Oh my god, that's from coaching Kame, isn't it? Oh lord, these references. That's a good one.
<laughs> Thoughtography, yep. What? Oh. Ah. Oh, he is going to get robbed. He's going to make this extremely expensive for him. That's a lot of money. <laughs> wow. Did he act? I think he actually got robbed by this. I don't know. Okay. Rock. <laughs> Yep. A cold. Oh, I thought Psyche got a call from four moment. I was like, how is that possible? <laughs> oh my god. Dream surgeon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not normal. No, no, it's just. No, he probably got like hurt or something. Oh, it's just a fashion. Okay, never mind. Ultimate Night Storm. Oh boy. Yeah. 20. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> He can easily levitate, you know? Oh, uh, he can easily get out of the earth. Yeah, true. <laughs> wow. Wow! Yeah, this guy. <laughs> Gaining weight. Who is this? Oh, you man. <laughs> I don't think so. Five kilo? Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Is he is he rubbing off on her? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Denial, this girl. <laughs> Playing in the snow. <laughs> yes, the rivalry is melting. Melting. <laughs> it's so hot. It's melting. Wow. <laughs> Wait, was he doing? <laughs> was Psyche doing that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mmm, ah, the delu- ah, uh, the delusions this girl have.
<laughs> I'm distressed. <laughs> exactly. The dilemma. Oh, that's where it ends. Okay. Okay, that's the end. All right, we <laughs> we begin this episode with okay. Um. Oh my God. Ah, uh, Teruhashi's brother. Like this guy. I can like. I I know that this show actually kind of like you know, exaggerates so many things. You know. Uh, normally it's not that weird, but especially because his brother, her brother is like this. It's so weird, you know, like this show this does this. It kind of brings out, out the cliches in anime and it exaggerates it like in such a huge way that it's funny, you know, like for example, uh, Nendo being completely clueless about everything, you know, his head is empty all the time and uh, like, you know, like... <laughs> You know, exaggerating. Um, the Chunibyo, you know, like um, Kaido being the Chunibyo, another one of uh, the character archetypes in anime. And uh, yeah, it, it kind of exaggerates that as well. Teruhashi being that one girl just who is thinking that, oh, I reckon everyone loves me. I'm the special girl. That type of a character, you know, is exaggerated up, up until like, you know, such a length that... <clears throat> She's like complete, continuously in like, you know, delusions and always thinks that, oh, Psyche likes me, you know, that type of a thing. It's like in such a height. So just like this, his, her brother is like a character who is one of those Siskon characters and it heightens it so much that it's actually weird at, at this point. Like, you know, like the things that he does is so like, oh my God, like this episode starts with him breathing heavily into in, on on Kokomi's bed like wow yeah and he just oh my god anyways <laughs> oh so he goes to Saiki uh, after being like you know kicked out by Kokomi he goes to Saiki he's like oh like you know tomorrow my uh, uh, like, you know the dr my drama will be neighbor f filming in my neighborhood so everyone will notice Kokomi and he she'll get scouted this is going to happen that is going to happen so I want you to take her somewhere else for that time being and tell her not to be there or something like that he says and he's like and while you're telling her that be like 10 meters away from him her this and that blah 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 and yeah you know his brother her, her brother is just crazy so <clears throat> he says and goes away and I'm, I was guessing Saiki was not going to do anything but Psyche does think that what's going to happen if Kokomi actually gets scouted, then if she becomes like a celebrity, you know, then uh, then it'll be even more crazier. Like, you know, the media and everything, everyone will come to her, his school and he wants to uh, just lead a normal life. So he doesn't want that. So he's like, OK, you know what, maybe I am going to do th this. And he goes and tells Kokomi and um, was going to go away but then Kokomi is like oh like you know as an apology of, for my brother I think that's what he says he says 
Yeah, yeah, there you go, huh? She's like, uh, as an apology for my brother acting weird, you know? Uh, let's, uh, you know, just go for a coffee. Obviously, she was like, just in her head, she's like, obviously, she, he's not going to deny me, will she? And if he doesn't, if he denies me, and like, you know, like, it's never going to happen. And just thinking of all of that, she's like, if you turn me down, I'm going to die. My life will be officially over. She was, she was thinking of all of that and Psyche's like, oh my god, all right, fine. And there you go, there you go. They're, <laughs> they're going to the nearby cafe or whatever. <laughs> and Kokomi's like, oh my god, Psyche must be so happy. And behind her, Psyche is just frowning, looking at her. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, and uh, now one thing I was thinking, maybe Psyche will like the thing by the end of it because you know like they're going out for coffee and you know maybe she'll get some coffee jello or something like that and that will probably make him you know make his mood better or something like that i thought it was going to happen uh, and it did happen kind of like that but at the beginning there was multiple problems at first uh, the shop that she went to was just closed and then she's like okay let's go to the shopping district we'll probably get a cafe and all <laughs> And then there's no cafe in the shopping district and Kokomi was just like, what am I going to do? And all the other, obviously all the other people in the street, they're like, oh, what's happening? You know, like, do you have any problem? Let us help you out. And there's like a huge crowd. <laughs> and Kokomi's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a perfect, beautiful girl. You know, like everyone's going to help me out. Why was I you kind know, of fussing about this so much? And she's like, yeah, I, I want to go to a cafe. And they go to a cafe. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, like, you know, like, Psyche has a lot of food in front of him. And it took me a while to realize, not only Psyche loves coffee jello, see, he loves all sweet things, I'm guessing. Because I was, I was thinking, like, you know, in this episode we saw uh, all the cakes and everything, he was just eating them. And when he realized that the brother was coming, you know, uh, he was like, okay, the brother's coming, we need to get out. But he's still sitting there just eating the cake. Which I'm guessing which shows that it's not only coffee jello, but he loves all type of desserts, I'm guessing. And it's just that he loves coffee jello a lot more. And all the other desserts, he also likes them, but not as much as the coffee jello. So since he had all the other desserts in front of her, him, he was just so much into it that he didn't wasn't able to properly get out in time with Kohomi uh, before his her her brother came in. So, anyways, um, her brother is almost there in the cafe, and he's like, "Okay, I need to do something." He closes the uh, like you know the sign, and uh, <clears throat> he was going to go away. And the manager, uh, manager, uh, the yeah, the the cafe, the, the guy, uh, manager, yeah, I guess. Uh, the waiter, I guess, uh, he's like, here's the bill, <laughs> 6,000 something yen. And Kokomi is like, you know, like Kokomi is like, okay, I'm going to pay, no, don't worry. And she's, he's like, all right, 2,000 yen. Wow. <laughs> and then when he, she says, not 2,000, sorry, 200 yen. And then when she's like, okay, I have coupons. He's like, oh, then it's even better, 20 yen. <laughs> Anyways, that was that. And they go out and... Psyche is trying to find out where his brother is, uh, her brother is, because running into her brother is a huge load of problems on its own. So he's trying to find out and uh, <laughs> he's like, let's go home quickly. And Kokomo is like, oh, I was going to think she was going to ask me to stay with him even more. And uh, when Psyche realizes that the brother is in front of the station, he's like, okay, yeah, I think we need to like you know we cannot go home now like this so they go to different place the arcade i'm guessing that's where they go okay yeah oh no sorry the bowling alley the first they went to the went to the bowling alley and here psyche decides to do something that will make kokomi not like him anymore now i was saying like okay that's never going to happen because by the end of it you know, Kokomi is so delusional that she's going to kind of twist the whole thing into something good. And 
you know but one after the other first the whole thing with the mm, bowling and then the crane game you know all these things uh kokomi was kind of by the end of it kokomi is like oh what is happening and when they were going to <laughs> like you know when kokomi said you know what let's go home and when she was going away saki's like thank god you know like he actually doesn't she actually doesn't likes me anymore but then in comes his her brother it's so funny that her brother doesn't want them to meet but at the same time him being here actually patched up their relationship again <laughs> saki and kokomi's <laughs> so ironic um like and since the brother was here saki grabbed kokomi's hand and started running obviously that's all it needed <laughs> for you know uh, kokomi's affection to come back now saiki needed to grab her hand because obviously to become transparent not transparent sorry invisible yeah to become invisible and transparent i'm guessing um he needed to touch the other person so that's why he grabbed her hand <laughs> and saiki thought that okay this is going to probably work out well uh like you know, she's not going to like me anymore because i grabbed her hand and uh, but oh boy like you know it went in a completely different direction <laughs> kokomi is like what's his problem i can't believe it he's holding my hand and psyche is like i bet she hates me more now that i suddenly had her uh, held her hand <laughs> kokomi is like what a selfish aggressive guy <laughs> psyche is like well i guess this worked out for the best now she'll completely Koko is saying, but why? Why is my heart fluttering like? <laughs> ah, ah. And Psyche is like, what is this gap, Moy? <laughs> oh God! And yeah, there you go. By the end, like I said, like you know, yeah, her. I guess your her delusions or whatever you call it, that made everything fine. And ironically, her brother was the one who actually again made like you know Kokomi's affection for Psyche come back again. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, all right. The next part, the whole Santa, you know, like the the whole Santa section. And uh, at first, I was like, why is Psyche being a Santa Claus? And then we get the little backstory of how his brother uh not brother sorry his dad was going to become santa and the mom was like actually told everyone that's why he had to become the santa and bring gifts to everyone but completely just you know like got his back hurt <laughs> and uh, psyche couldn't re rewind back that time because you know like he did it before because for the littlest of littlest thing his dad actually asks him to rewind time so obviously like what else can you do so <laughs> at first psyche was like no i'm not going to do this but when the mom was like okay i'm going to become santa <laughs> psyche is like okay fine i'm going to do it <laughs> oh. now he starts uh just like a santa does kind of jump i guess santa doesn't jump but anyways like flies around you know um and uh, goes to like you know different houses the first house he goes to uh, the girl was like oh i need santa to come from the chimney i'm going to give him a big hug but when psyche did that the girl is like oh my god you're you know you're, you're so untidy you know like i don't want to hug you <laughs> typical kids you know <laughs> oh god and the next kid was just so scared and he was like oh, what are you going to do kill me or something <laughs> i i love the wordplay here that they do um <laughs> He says like I'm Santa Claus, uh, not uh, obviously this is Japanese. So she's like Santa Claus, and Claus and Claus, which means kill, is same. So he's like, oh Santa Claus, you you want to kill me? I'm not Santa, I'm Kanta. <laughs> this part was funny. <laughs> the, the whole wordplay section was so funny. You know Santa Claus, like I said, Claus means Claus, which means kill. So Santa Claus means someone who's going to kill Santa. That's why this kid was like, "I'm not Santa. Why are you trying to kill me? I'm Kanta." <laughs> that was the whole joke over here, as far as I could understand. I don't know why, but that was funny. <laughs> At least for me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Psyche was like, 
<laughs> At least tell your kid who's Santa Claus. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, the next one was kind of uh, sad. You could say like you know the kid was just there and uh, the parents were fighting and the kid was like I don't want any gifts. Santa just make you know like my mom and dad uh, like you know happy and they like, you know, get along again. And I I guess Psyche probably went to the dad's company and like you know did the job or did something. And uh, yeah, that's why you know the phone call came and the dad was like, "All right, I will not have to go." And yeah, everything was okay again after that. So there you go, Santa Claus. You know he, he did a good job there. Now the next part, obviously, Psyche needs some kind of a um, you know like a reward for all that he did. You know, like the whole manga incident that happened. All the time he helps his dad out. You know, and obviously the Santa Claus thing. So he's like, give me money, my uh, New Year's, like, you know, money. Her mom gives her money, obviously her, like, you know, uh, his mom gives, uh, like, you know, he, he doesn't want anything else from his mom because his mom barely even asks him to do anything. But his dad is a completely different thing. His dad just asks him for each and everything. So Psyche is like, uh-uh, the same amount of money that my mom gave me won't do here. More, give me more <laughs> for all the things that I do and he got a good chunk of money from his dad and he's like at first i was like he's going to like you know buy some coffee jelly or something you know that's all he do, do, like, kind of thinks about all the time <laughs> funny and funnily it did end up by the end of it he did bring something that makes coffee jelly so by the end of it that's how it went but at first he was like okay i'm going to buy a television I guess television is also another thing that's very important for him because he loves to watch the um, the shows because he don't get spoiled. So that's why um, you know I guess uh, television is another important thing for him. So he talks about how he has been actually rewinding time every day for the TV and keeping it from dying out. <laughs> so he's like, okay, now I'm I'm finally going to get an actual good television. You know, I, I, I've I've done enough. That television has given me enough service. So he goes to a mall and I, I knew that here, you know, like no one can actually trick him because he can read everyone's mind. The, the salesman just comes in and he's like, oh, look at this. This is so amazing. This has this, this, this and this. It's it's amazing. It's the best one. And obviously, so I can, can read his mind and he can read that this guy is like, oh, I'm going to like, you know, trick this kid. And he, he got his New Year money most probably. I'm going to really trick him very bad. And uh, Psyche can obviously get like an X-ray vision, so um, he can also see all those uh, the, like in the inner things that was in there and the problems of the stuff. So <clears throat> the the uh, the guy tries to kind of sell the thing by f at first he was like, oh, this is like one terabyte like you know uh, storage. It can like it has 3D stuff, this and that. All all the things Psyche was like, I don't need it, you know. Like all these things, I don't need it. Just like you know, show me something else. And then he you know shows like you know points towards like a um, television which is like forty nine thousand eight hundred yen. And he's like, give me a discount, you know. It's like almost fifty thousand yen. And the guy is like, okay, let's round it down to 49,000 yen. Like 800 yen discount for television? Nah, I, we need a lot more. <laughs> and obviously Psyche can hear his inner voice. And he's like... <laughs> and he's like 25,000 yen. <laughs> That's the amount he thought in his mind so damn like the amount i like you know this is so crazy like you know the amount of profit by selling these things you know like it's like double the price so crazy like wow oh boy anyways uh still the guy was like okay i'm going to like you know we're going to try to do something else he says okay if you find it cheaper somewhere else we'll like you know we'll do what you say and Psyche has clairvoyance, he just uses the clairvoyance, gets to see one of the uh, kind of heavily discounted uh, television of the same model. Uh, I guess he get, got the picture from Thoughtography that he did, which I guess kind of takes picture of his thoughts. And uh, he gave the proof and he's like, there you go. 
and the guy is like oh my god like you know like fine and then he's like do you need something else um, noise cancelling headphones um the laptop a camera a, a, a gorilla that does weird stuff <laughs> all these things and uh, psych is like i don't need anything and then he suddenly looks at a coffee jello machine and he's like wait a minute what is that what is that thing you have <laughs> and obviously the the shopkeeper was like oh i got him and he's like oh that's the thing that makes you know co coffee jello and um uh what do you call them like a lot of other ice creams as well and he starts giving uh, him like you know different uh extra stuff that the thing has and it costs twenty nine thousand eight hundred yen okay psyche now thinks that if i buy this i cannot buy the television and he i was actually surprised that he actually was at first trying to think was going to choose the television he says like if i oversleep one day and fail to fix it it won't work ever again which makes sense like i said television is the second most important thing for him just like coffee jello and he's like so coffee jello if i make it i have to do stuff like wash dishes clean the table i need batteries too and then he's like okay i'm gonna buy the television and this guy this shopping guy he's like oh if you buy it down you'll get double points uh an alarm clock which is going to help him get up you know to make the television okay <laughs> and what else kitchen detergent a table cleaner 40 zinc 40 batteries oh my god <laughs> okay and he's like all right fine i'm going to take this <laughs> okay so i guess yeah he was going to get the television for extra discount but for this you know like he paid the full price so technically the shopkeeper won you know like he would have gotten like gonna have probably would have had loss or would have sold the television at the same price that they brought it for so it would amount to no profit because the television was like fifty thousand yen and he like you know kind of reduced it to twenty five thousand yen and the, the this thing also is twenty five thousand yen but for this one i'm guessing uh Obviously, Psyche did not bargain because this is related to coffee jello. And uh, I'm also guessing this coffee jello machine probably costed like 13,000 yen or something. Just like the television, they doubled the price. I'm guessing this is also the same. So technically, the shopkeeper won here because he did not have to sell the television, which he would have sold for very less. He sold the coffee jello machine for a lot more price and he amounted to like almost. 100% profit so yeah the shopkeeper won actually against psyche obviously in front of like you know uh, if, if coffee jello is involved psyche just loses everything okay all right the next one everyone uh like you know is like kind of getting cold like not everyone but it's a season where everyone gets sick and kaido is having like a cold with a mask and um uh Oh, now here from here onwards, there was like small little stories, and that that one was like where uh, Kuba was you know, wearing the mask, and Kaido was like, "Oh, you also have a cold," and Kuba is like, "Oh, I thought he was thinking. I thought it was just a fashion <laughs> because delinquents wore face masks, and you know." Okay, the next one is um, oh the first like you know like what everyone did the first time this year, you know, and. <laughs> That that one was funny when uh Oh no um Oh yeah this this part okay sorry sorry I was thinking of something else um yeah um the first uh, what everyone did first time and uh, Nendo does some weird stuff and we get to see that Mera is eating the first time after 20 days like my god <laughs> he's been she's been eating grass and snow <laughs> And the next one was like uh what they did last year i think stories about the year end yeah and takashi said something like oh you know what last year i was not on earth he just jumped and that was kind of funny you know and psyche was like ah oh, this is like everyday stuff for me when i was a kid i used to actually go outside earth <laughs> oh god and then the next one was like you know reta coming and telling his like you know um what do you call it um what 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 is psyche calling that just a sec earthly desires yeah earthly desires filled new year you know like 
<laughs> all that stuff he did and then we get Yumehara's thinking that she like you know like she's getting like you know like uh, gaining weight and she's thinking like like you know, Kaido uh, will not like that all that stuff you know and uh, uh, is is actually Ka Kaido kind of rubbing off on her like here she says now that it comes to this it seems the time has come to remove the seal on the 4.9 kilo hair band god damn i guess you could say she is kaido is kind of rubbing off on her you know the whole <laughs> music started playing the chunibyo music in the <laughs> background and he's she's like oh the 4.9 kilo hair uh, gram hair band i guess she was in denial because she wanted to <laughs> think that yeah she's uh, like you know she's not gaining weight and that was just an excuse to eat more ice cream <laughs> okay the next one oh god Hiro was like so at first I thought he was so hot-blooded and everything you know that everything is melting around her but in the end I got to realize that it was actually Saiki doing it I think and the next one the final one where Kokomi is like oh why is Saiki not giving me you know my new year card response and she's just freaking out while psyche uh, like i'm kind of thinking of usual delusions she's like oh is psyche actually thinking so much that he cannot give it to me uh all that stuff you know and psyche is thinking like oh what should i do if i was going to like you know increase the affection if i give it will it increase the affection if i don't give it will it increase the affection i want to do the opposite <laughs> And he's kind of confused as to what was going to increase the affection because he doesn't want that. In my opinion, doing both, like either of it was going to increase the affection. And like I said, Teruhashi is delusional. So either way is going to end up like you know, increasing the likability of for Psyche in Teruhashi's mind. So yeah, that's how it ends. All right, another great, uh, two more great episodes. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and uh, I'll check them out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week with two more episodes of the disastrous life of Psyche K. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.